Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing for this Asus ROG phone and as you can see this is a very different kind of a box and this is a very different kind of a smartphone also as you can see it is a ROG phone that is a Republic of Gamers and uh, it's a gaming centric smartphone that we have and it comes in this peculiar box so let's quickly open this up and it says ROG aerodynamic system so it opens up like this as you can see and let's see what uh, do we have this is a uh, air cooler module and this uh, smartphone as it's a gaming centric smartphone you have a lot of accessories we get this bundled in this uh, box it plugs into the smartphone I'll show you again I have a bunch of accessories also that come uh, those are sold separately uh, but this is what you get in the box and uh, we get a braided uh, USB type C cable we get a massive uh, charger and this is supposed to be qualcomm quick charge 4 plus guys and uh, we also get some pads i don't know why might be able to stick something but that's what it is so here is the phone itself and also it has that rog brand in here at the back and it's a very different kind of phone let me keep this all this stuff to the side and uh, let's have a look at the smartphone and it's a powerful smartphone it's having a snapdragon 845 chipset and as you can see dual uh, front firing speakers and from the back it actually looks very interesting this area is having a glass back uh, but this is open and as you can see we have vents here to dissipate the heat that has that dual camera set of fingerprint scanner is yeah this is the fingerprint scanner would have been better if it was here i would say you have to stretch your hands a little bit and uh, uh, let me give you a, a what do you say physical overview on here we have a secondary noise cancellation microphone this is metallic guys so the build quality is nice and we also have a, a microphone over here so quite a few microphones for noise cancellation uh, we have the power on off button power button here and it's supposed to also have air triggers which you can actually configure uh, while gaming again it's a gaming centric smartphone we uh, fortunately i have a 3.5 mm headphone jack usb type c port again a microphone over here and uh, this opening as you can see uh, is again one more there you can charge and attach these accessories uh, to this one and finally our sim slot i believe it's a dual sim and again as it's a gaming centric smartphone the specs are good it comes with 8 gigabytes of ram so dual sim guys no micro sd card slot so dual sim nano is what we are getting on this one so certainly a very different kind of a smartphone designed for uh, gamers and again as gaming smartphones are expensive this i believe is going to be priced around seventy thousand rupees uh, so by the time it actually boots up and i set it up let me give you a configuration overview this asus rog phone is having a six inch amoled screen that's a full hd plus screen in the 18 is to 9 aspect ratio it is uh, having gorilla glass 6 also the screen can go up to 90 hertz it's powered by the snapdragon 845 chipset which is octa core processor but this one can um, be clogged uh, can go as high as 2.96 uh, gigahertz it has the adreno 630 gpu 8 gigabytes of ram 128 gigabytes of storage it has three ultrasonic triggers for gaming it has dual rear facing camera 12 megapixel with optical image stabilization and 8 megapixel wide angle lens front facing camera is 8 megapixel it also has a 4000 milliamp hour battery with quick charge force support so guys, I've just uh, set up this device and as you can see, uh, it runs on a custom UI that is Zen UI and we have some toggles over here. But again, a lot of gaming centric uh, uh, apps are there. As you can see, we have the X mode, memory cleaner, air triggers. Uh, actually, uh, this area of this phone, these two can be mapped to games so that uh, you can just tap here instead of this, tapping on the screen. So it's actually helpful in gaming. For example, PUBG, you can uh, uh, configure this for fire this for crouch or getting uh, what do you say uh, the scopes or whatever so you can map up that stuff and uh, if we go over here and uh, the screen uh, touch is very responsive it's 90 hertz guys and if we look at about the phone as you can see if, uh, android version is 8.1 still and uh, so that's what it is and uh, as i've told you it comes with 128 gigabytes of storage but uh, a lot of apps have been installed so as you can see about 26 gigabytes is uh, sort of used 
Uh, so 128 gigabytes that's not bad um, battery is 4000 milliamp hour uh, but it has that quick charging support so that should not be a problem and the speakers are very immersive on these these two speakers uh, let me actually just go over here youtube and it's a amulet screen guys uh, that we are having i'll adjust the brightness and uh, it's a, a pretty good quality screen uh, let me search for my own uh, videos and uh, haptic feedback also is actually really good on this phone uh, because it has a dedicated haptic sort of an engine so it gives very good haptic feedback let's just unbox uh, this just, just open any of my video to give you an idea let's skip this ad apparently we can't i'll increase the volume Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this real me. So as you can see the audio clarity is actually good. It has a little bit of depth also, I would say. Uh, so good to uh, have actually stereo speakers, which actually will help in uh, gaming. So uh, that's what it is. And again, it's as it's a gaming centric smartphone, uh, we also have a lot of features for gaming centric stuff. For example, we have this, the game center, which actually shows you the temperature of the phone, the GPU's temperature, as you can see, the CPU's, they say uh, 36 degrees Celsius, GPU is there. And you can go to this X mode, uh, and we also have game profiles. Uh, so you can tweak around, for example, these are the games that are loaded as file nine. You can set up PUBG, you can set the profile. What do you want? You want it to run at the highest uh, clock frequency. You can set all those things. But let's say if game is not um, that powerful, you can actually save some battery by lowering it. So you have all these, uh, also the refresh rate, you can set, as I've told you, it can go up to 90 Hertz. But again, guys, uh, this will depend upon the game. Uh, the game also needs to support that. But there is an option hardware up to 90 Hertz. So again, you can uh, uh, actually set what you want, the profiles, anti-aliasing you want, and uh, all those things and uh, you can just leave it also you can switch on memory cleaner this is for hardcore gamers so whenever you launch this game it will clean up all the memory so that you won't have any lag or uh, whatever so and you can also adjust the fan speed and we also have this aura light at the back as you can see uh, so this is cool so you can change this if you want right now you can shut it off if you want if you don't want it you can shut it off so you can customize this also and uh, again we have a lot of uh, options over here so again a very gaming centric smartphone uh, and again it's for a very niche kind of audience uh, and this is the accessory that is sort of bundled uh, if you have a, are a very heavy gamer you know that after continuously playing, playing most of the games for 20-25 minutes it starts to heat up and it can get actually really warm so they have bundled this accessory and as you can see i have dock 10 i'm just going to press ok and now if i start gaming and the temperature increases this is a fan actually it will blow out the hot air so the device will be cool and if you notice uh, actually it started uh, blowing out air slightly from here and uh, as you can see, we also have a USB uh, Type-C port over here and a headphone jack. So if you're gaming like this, mostly you game like this, uh, generally the headphone jacks are here and they protrude like that. So you can just plug it here and even uh, plug in a charger and continue gaming. So again, a very gaming centric smartphone and you can easily just remove this when you're done. So nice to see that they are bundling this accessories and you can just remove it like this uh, so again it is for hardcore gamers uh, guys and um, they also have a lot of accessories uh, for this one i'll show you uh, some of the accessories that i have so guys as i've told you we have a lot of accessories these are sort of sold uh, separately this is the phone itself and these accessories will connect uh, via the special port that we have and uh, if you are a sort of a hardcore gamer i feel this is a good one and as you can see it's a dock that you will connect and it provides a lot of functionality like gigabit ethernet, uh, USB type C, A type C, and the 4K HDMI. So you can even connect it to a television and then do your gaming stuff. So again, this is an accessory. I don't know the pricing of these uh, again, uh, but ASUS team mentioned that these will be coming to India. And my favorite would be this one. Uh, as you can see, if you are a console gamer or a Nintendo fan, you must be familiar with this uh, this accessory as you can see it has a d-pad like this and your phone will fit in this and then you have a what do you say 
like this you put it in and this end you put it in and it will recognize I'll just unlock and you can play around with this one so I feel this is actually a very good accessory uh, for this phone if you are sort of a gamer so this is actually practical I would say but some of the other accessories uh, yes though they are cool are going to be very expensive but this twin view dock actually has one more display within it so as you can see this is for super hardcore gamers and asus uh, team didn't tell me the price of this this is a sc uh, screen itself and your phone will connect with this dock and as you can see it is it, this also has a built-in uh, battery so it will charge here so you can do your gaming here and do something else on this other screen you can obviously customize what you want so again this is also pretty cool and we also have physical triggers here for gaming and again, as you can see you can also charge it while doing so again this is uh, another accessory and also has that heat sink over here so that even with extended gaming uh, it will not uh, have problems so this is another accessory that we have but this is going to be very expensive i think because it also has a screen over here and uh, so a pretty unique accessory that we have and lastly we also have a mobile desktop talk so again this can be used if you want to connect it to a what do you say television or what and as you can see you can use it like a mini computer then it has a ethernet port a usb type a and even hdmi and for audio also it has outputs so again as you can see uh, and usb type c port is also there so you can use it and dock it so again these are some of the accessories that we also have with this phone so what do you guys actually think about this asus rog smartphone certainly a very impressive smartphone and the accessories that we have but uh, it can quickly get pretty expensive uh, and again i feel this is for a very niche audience uh, really for hardcore uh, gamers uh, out there but anyways uh, what do you guys think about this asus rog smartphone again the build quality is very interesting and also they say that inside it has a lot of tech for cooling and also uh, like high-end computers it has a heat sink and stuff so it would be interesting to see uh, how they do that anyways what do you guys think about this asus rog smartphone do let me know in the comment section below so guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys